Hey friends, happy Saturday, round 6P2, day 13. Um, I haven't vlogged since last Tuesday, which was VLCD number 9. And I had been up 0.4 after uh, trying a variety of different things on that previous day, which had been uh, pinto beans over the weekend on P2, which is not allowed. I also had a sugar-free creamer in the powdered form, and then I had uh, two fruits in one day, back to back in a half hour, which I've never done before. So the following day, which was VLCD number 10, it was at 0.2. VLCD number 11, it was at 0.2. And then VLCD number 12, I was down 1.0. And then that was yesterday. Tom came late last night. And then this morning, VLCD number 13, I was down 1.0. So my averages aren't too bad. Um, 11 pounds in 13 days. I mean, you can't do that on any other diet in this world. Unless you're starving yourself. Um... Needless to say, I won't be eating beans again for a while. Uh, at least not on P2. Um, I'm back in a new de decade. So I started in the 150s after loading. I just blew through the 140s in the last two weeks. And this morning I am now in the 130s again. And I am 0.8 away from... The strongest set point that I have ever had set both on or off HCG. 138 is the number that sticks for me. And um, I've just spent most of my life at that number. And all of my rounds have eventually either... Um, I've either ended my rounds at that number, or I've ended my rounds below it and then creeped back up to that number. So, um, mentally trying to deal with that and uh, overcome it in the obstacle in front of me. Uh, my goal is to get below 130 in this round. I've only ever gotten to 130.2. And, um, taking some drastic measures to get there. So, you know, I, d I don't know. I'm not going to set a number. I'm just going to say I'd like to get be below 130 and then go from there. Um, I'm way, way behind on comments and responses. This week was difficult. My back has been out all week. And, um, I just, I spend way too much time in the car. And I've got to change that. And I'm trying to come to terms with how to do that. Because what it means is changing my profession. Um, so, it's a, it's a life-changing event for me. I haven't been back in the job force for that long. I'm a paralegal at a bankruptcy firm, a law firm. And, uh... You know, I, I spent over 13 years being a stay-at-home mom with my kids and went back into the workforce, immediately into law, and that's where I've been for the last seven years. So I don't quite know what else to do at this point. I've got a few things that I'm considering, um, but they're drastic changes, and I just weighing the pros and cons and trying to decide if it's something I really want to go forward and do because it's, you know, life-altering. So, kind of a lot going on in my head this week. I'm sorry I didn't vlog. Um, I was okay this week, even with the up and down. Um, I did do a fast this week, which is what kicked those uh, gains to the curb. And, I, again, I'm not going to recommend that other people do these fasts because they're not on protocol. And I'm tweaking the protocol, and those people that you talk to, veterans, will tell you, do not tweak the protocol. 
can, so um, I'm going to tell you do not tweak the protocol, even though I just told you that I did. So I had a 40-hour fast. I fasted from Wednesday night to Friday morning. Um, I usually do this even when I'm not on protocol, and I do it because I like it and not because I feel it's necessary for the weight loss aspect. I do it for a lot of different reasons and I'm not going to get into that. Um, because I am so far behind on commenting and, and responses, I just want to tell everybody thank you for all your support and love and sharing and I've been watching everybody all week long. I commute at least two hours a day and so I am in the car taking my life <laughs> And putting it in danger by watching vlogs while I drive or listening to them. Um, and I just enjoy all of you. And I'm, I'm enjoying watching each of you uh, go through your journeys and, and share them. And it's just really cool to be back in and part of this community. Um, There was someone that commented last week that I haven't responded to that I wanted to respond to. She made a comment about me not wearing my seatbelt, and I've uh, addressed this issue before, but maybe she's a new, new to my channel, and it's okay. Um, I understand your concern for safety, and the thing that you may not realize, I've had four shoulder, shoulder surgeries on my left arm. And unfortunately, I drive a Suburban that has a seatbelt that rides right across the scar tissue on my shoulder. And I've gotten padding and done all sorts of things to try and clip the seatbelt in a different way and make it work for me because I do spend so much time in the car. And I am trying to set a good example for my children. I do make them wear the seatbelt every time they get in the vehicle. Um, but for me, what I have to do is place the seatbelt under my arm across my breasts. Um, it is a shoulder belt. It is across my lap and it is protecting me uh, better than it would be if I wasn't wearing one. But because of where the seat belt rides, it digs into the scar tissue because most days when I am commuting, I'm wearing a blouse that's made of, you know, thin material to go to work in. And it um, it's very irritating to do that for you know, sometimes up to four hours a day I'm sitting in the car. So thank you for addressing my safety. I appreciate it. I haven't commented back to you yet, but I do wear my seatbelt. Just so you know. Just like you said, just saying. <laughs> um, I am vlogging in the dark because I look like shit. And I feel like shit. And um, just laying on a heating pad. My back is out. It's been out for two weeks. I keep trying to get it to go back in and quit spasming and I've just been sitting in the car too much so that's what's irritating it and that's what I'm dealing with. I'm not taking any pain pills and kind of blew my last heating pad out and had to go buy a new one and just sitting back and relaxing enjoying the Saturday evening so hope everybody's doing great and um you know, kick the weekend, get through it, do whatever you have to do to to make it work to, you know, your advantage. To make it to Monday with a clear head. I love all you guys. Take care. Ciao.